I think of the teeth pieces in a very psychological way and visceral way that for me is no different than almost any body of work that I've made. I see them all connected. One, because I know that I always want you to feel my work in your own body. So that when you're looking at it, you feel it physically and viscerally. If you think about imagery in, in through all the periods that we know of, we've had mutation from one life form to another, one reality to another. There's, I think, constantly the shifting from one reality to another. I think we constantly try to understand what that reality is. It's interesting that we become slaves to what we think is important and what we can and what we can't do. This idea that you can or can't do something doesn't belong in art. It has no place. If anyone ever says something to me like you can't, I think to myself, oh, you've got it wrong. <laughs> it's, it just doesn't work that way. Because art is about a kind of freedom, you know? It's about going into places that are not okay to go or to make things that seem like they're one way, but at the same time, they're the opposite. Um, to me, that's the exciting thing about art.